Hey friend, in this video, we are gonna be talking about why you should quit watercolor in order to get better at watercolor. So um, I don't know about you guys, or if you've been really analyzing my timeline of my watercolor journey. I started painting with watercolor 10 years ago, and it was my first exploration really in painting kind of seriously. I had painted with acrylic growing up here and there, just kind of as a hobby. Not very much though. It wasn't something that I took very seriously. Um, but about three, four years ago, I started also exploring gouache and oil pastel and soft pastels. And maybe one day I'll explore actual oil painting. It seems very intimidating, but I've learned so much from exploring other mediums and having fun and branching out that has helped inform what I do and the choices that I make in my watercolor paintings. So one of my all time favorite artists, Henry Matisse, He's obviously famous for his watercolors. He's fam famous for cutout paper pieces. He's also really famous for past pastel pieces. And I love that a lot of the masters were totally welcoming to exploring other mediums and taking things on the go, doing their oil pastels or doing their watercolor and having fun with different color palettes and whatnot. And I feel like a lot of artists these days get trapped in, I'm a watercolor artist, this is all I can do. This is the style that I do or that I replicate or whatever. And we kind of box ourselves in when I think there's so much to learn outside of whatever medium we choose or we regularly do that can inform things like texture or color combinations and palettes. For example, oil pastels, I've loved exploring the velvety texture, the buttery creamy texture in, um, in a lot of the, just the nature of oil pastel and combining colors and softening them and understanding tones and values from oil pastel by using a lot of the breaks in the paper that you see from the texture in oil pastels as my bright highlights. And that's been something that I've incorporated into my watercolor work because sometimes I'll mix up something that's a bit more buttery consistency. Of course, it's not gonna ex be an exact replica of an oil pastel, obviously, but something thicker and more creamy and buttery and using dry texture as I spread my brush across with this thicker color to have those pokes of white, maybe if I'm doing a broad stroke of ocean with some light specks on it. So having something outside of what you're doing in form, kind of like you're doing research a little bit, into the medium that you're most dominant in. And something that I've also learned in the medium of gouache, which is an opaque version of watercolor, is how much depth we can actually get with watercolor. A lot of people get really stuck in the middle tones of watercolor because you're using water, it's kind of tricky for people to use, especially if you're used to a medium like acrylic or oil. It's kind of, kind of a weird brain twist to think of using water and paint together. And so it waters down a lot of the colors and values that you would normally see, the depth that you would see with a medium like acrylic or oil. And so a lot of beginners, especially, and even intermediate artists, don't really get those dark, dark values with watercolor because they're not used to how thick it needs to be on the brush. And so it wasn't until I started exploring gouache, the medium of gouache, that I started trying to replicate the same feeling and texture that I was getting from gouache, which is just an opaque version of watercolor, in my watercolor medium. So I was going hard in the, in the, in the paint, literally, uh, with gouache and getting these really thick, buttery, velvety colors super easily because that's the nature of that medium. But then wanting to replicate that with my watercolor paintings and coming up with these more buttery consistencies with water, watercolor paint either straight from the tube or just sitting in a dish for a really long time to pick up a lot of color. And so exploring that, exploring gouache, exploring acrylic even, or water, uh, what is it called? Oil, just to branch out and to see, oh, I really like how those colors blend or that consistency or that texture. And not everything is gonna be able to be directly translated into watercolor but it's also gonna give you fresh eyes and a new perspective on the medium of watercolor or whatever you're taking a pause from so that you can come back with fresh eyes and a new perspective and new inspiration because exploration always leads to inspiration. 
So you can then implement that and put into practice some techniques or textures or different things that you've realized along the way with other mediums into your watercolor and see what you can do to make it appropriate for watercolor. So that is my spiel on why you should quit watercolor in order to get better at watercolor. And also you clicked on this video because you obviously want to get better at watercolor. So if you're here watching, I have a free 40 page ebook that's on the complete beginner's guide to watercolor. It's super duper thorough. And if you're like new to my channel and you're like, wow, she has a ton of videos. I don't even know where to start. That ebook breaks down all the central videos to my channel that are going to walk you through each step of the process as a beginner or a more intermediate style artist. And it has QR codes with it. So you can just scan it and it will pop up with the video that's appropriate to what I'm talking about in the ebook. Fantastic ebook, really well designed, if I do say so myself. And it's very thorough. So check that out. We'll link to it in this video. And then also, if you want to take your art to the next level and have two monthly exclusive tutorials or art critiques or a live painting class with me each month, then check out my Patreon community. You can go to jennarainey.com forward slash Patreon. So check it out. Um, lots of fun stuff in there. And it also comes with an art community of hundreds of people who are like minded and watching these tutorials alongside you, um, giving feedback and answering questions, all that. And I hope all of that helps. Make sure, like I said, you check out all the other videos we have on this channel. Best place to start is the Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor eBook because it will have all the QR codes for you of where to start. And thank you so much for watching this video, for liking and subscribing to my channel. It means the world to me. And I'll see you in the next video.